just like randomly takes a game right off of like good players you it, know it's like the dark horse dark horse is always good on stream round one yeah Who's calamity? All right, so Keats. we got Keats. 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 okay, so we got Dreamslab versus Keat, Greninja versus the Snake. This matchup, so Greninja's a character where he's very, very good on paper. Right. Uh, their matchup. I think he's very good in practice as well. Yeah. If you look at their matchup spread, in, like, like you, uh, there's like a matchup chart document. Yep. And then just like he's top five based on like top on ten, matchups alone? top ten, if not top five based on matchups alone. I would believe it. It's just this character but has to be so precise. Exactly. Which is like it's it's just high, like high, high risk, high reward characters like that are de are generally worse in practice, but they're still very scary in the right hands. Right. Oh, especially if you drop shield there, it's going to yeah. be a little bit unfortunate. So, I feel like Greninja could do pretty well considering the fact that the low pro the low, like the very small hurt box will come into play when weaving in and around grenades, not getting pelted by them, not taking that unnecessary 3%. Unfortunately, PS2 is going to come in a little bit of a hindrance there, so it's going to allow Dream Slap to tech. It just barely doesn't get hit by that. Snake being way too skinny. Man, that's one of the things I hate about skinny characters is like moves that should normally hit, don't. Yeah, and with, and with the, and the character like Greninja, his hitboxes are going to have to be pretty damn precise, so that's going to be kind of annoying to deal with. <laughs> I feel like that's something we're going to see. So Greninja forward throw has a hitbox on it. And so if there's a grenade on the ground, it, it will pummel him into it, and it'll go straight up. So I feel like that can be comboed into an up and an up air if Keith finds himself in the right position. However, the position he finds himself now is not one that anybody wants to be in. That's struggling to kill Snake at 184. Yeah. Because he's just gonna sit and shield. He's gonna hold that grenade, and he's gonna like, trade, and he's gonna do so much more damage. There, yeah, that's good. Because in those positions, if Dream Slap is playing properly, he's gonna play around those forward airs and those, you know, those kill moves. I think Keat's gonna have to rely a lot on counter zoning with. I think Shurikens are really good, probably really good in this matchup, just to set off grenades and keep them at bay. Yep, and so. I think he needs to make a lot of bread on the ledge here because, like, you can't let Snake get back to ledge, especially when you're playing Greninja. Yeah. But it's easier said than done because, yes, Snake has so many mix ups, and like you said, Greninja being a very precise character. Yeah, I, I think he's playing neutral relatively well. He's not, like, getting caught by, like, a Dream Slaps, you know, just like bread and butters. If you get close to me, you're getting destroyed. He's, like, playing bait and punish decently well. Oh, almost got the tech chase there. Going for a down smash anyways, and he's going to be putting the blender Four right air? here. The up throw, the up air forward air. All that right. almost killed Snake at what, 85? Yeah, that was crazy. It's a Greninja rage forward air. Greninja with rage is something I don't want to think about. Yeah. <laughs> you want your down tilt up smash to kill 20% earlier? Here you Woo! go. <laughs> Unearned, because he has two down tilts for some reason. Oh! And he's going to counter through that. And he's going to pick what direction he wants, and he's going to go straight up. No BS, no getting hit by any grenades. As I say that, he gets exploded from the C4. And we've got a game one with a clean two last stocks. All right, yeah, I think both players are just, you know. Ooh, what was wow. that? And I he's going to find the Texas on the platform, and he's going to get so much damage for this. But he's going to let Dream Slap land a little bit for free, but a little bit taxed. Yeah, I like how both of them are playing. Neither of them are scrapping too much. Oh! Ah, he almost died. That, that was like, funny. That would have been really funny. Yeah, that would have been a dream slap way to win. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh, I felt a pineapple. Oh, oh like the walk. that was awesome. It's the small things. He walks forward and then Shaw hops back to beat him, and then just gets the up smash. Somebody's gonna clip this and say, "Look how broken walking is," and it's gonna get eighty thousand <laughs> likes. It's like, oh my god, I've rediscovered tech of holding the C stick, or holding the normal stick a little bit less aggressively. Yeah. Isn't that the craziest thing? There's like so many situations in Smash. Where I'm like, Actually. Dream Slap's left. Yeah. Dream Slap's the one in the blue shirt. Because, like, whenever I'm playing, whenever I'm in-game, I don't think to walk that much. When I have odd review, I'm like, damn, there's so many situations where I could be walking here and it would just be I, better than whatever I'm doing. I think it's just because people like being, uh, like, bursting a lot and getting out of burst range like that. And, like, the, the very prominence of, like, dashing back and forth gets you a lot. There's a good burst option in this game. So if you have a good burst option, you can get, like burst out and then burst back in a yeah. lot. Mm -hmm. A lot of characters can do that. I thought you said do a DK all the time. <laughs> run, run in, run out, dash attack back in. <laughs> I would say from humble beginnings, but no. Yeah. Absolutely not. All right. So keep taking the Whoa. first game. Oh, and an instant stick, but not gets shielded. Get All right. And the Greninja advantage state. I feel like Keat, it, they're winning neutral about equal, but Keat even he trying to winning neutral a little bit more, and he's getting more off his conversions. So yep. I think Dream Slide just needs to kind of prevent Keith from landing the dash attacks and like forward airs that he wants to, that he wants to land. Because I feel like Dream Slap is like more opting to back off as soon as he gets an advantage state. He gets his two piece and then he's out of there. But Keith's saying, "All right, you you picked your option. I'm gonna cover it." He's just waiting and waiting for Snake to pick an option is so so smart. Like he picked back there. He's like, "All right, I'm gonna dash back with forward. I'm gonna cover whatever you're doing. And if I miss, who cares? I have center stage." Yeah, exactly. Multi-purpose moves are always the way to go. I hate Oh, them. up to up air? Ooh. 
What is this? Did he just not DI the up tilt properly, or was that a real thing? I don't know. He <laughs> probably could have DI down in. I don't know. That looked real enough to be on Snake, because funnily enough, Snake just gets hit by weird things. I think ink he has the highest inkling up throw up air percent in the game by like 30%. Yeah, it's a huge. Giant window. Pow. Oh, is that no jump? Oh, he, he recognizes he's that there. too. <laughs> he's out there. He was like, because I didn't, I couldn't tell if he landed or not, because he got the back air right above the ground. But he fortunately was able to recognize no jump and just sealed the deal. And he goes target locked and just hits the cipher perfectly. Doesn't go for snake at all. He's like bye bye. Yeah, well either would have worked, but just good, good, good way of closing it out either way. Oh, he's gonna find the grab there. All right. Peek. <laughs> <laughs> Screw your wood. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> he looking like a lumberjack, just going. True. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Speaking of cutting things open, what Jesus. The he went he out there. going crazy with the three stock to close out the set. That was a three stock? Yeah, that was a three stock, bro. Yeah, Greninja kind of just like works so well in those scenarios. He gets Snake off stage and Snake's like, help me, help me. And he can be such a snowball character, too. Mm -hmm. No, trying to fight back against Greninja when they have a lead is like one of the worst feelings ever. Because they don't get BS like a lot of the light characters like Game & Watch or Fox. Yeah. They just, they're just moving and all the time. And their initial dash is so good. Their fade back aerials are so good. Their mobility is so good, just aerial and grounded. Like, their stance is, like, so low to the ground already, but their crouch is, like, and they have a crawl. Ugh. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> but that's good stuff to keep. You know, first time I've ever seen I think first probably first time he's been on stream here. It's it first, that's, like, the second time I've been, he's seen him in the venue, and he gets his win. So good stuff to him. New face to me, and, man, they made a good first impression. Yeah, all right, we got, we got Archangel on one side. I Boiled toddler. Boiled toddler. Yep. Yeah. What? People just come into bears and think, "What is the stupidest name that could be put get like get me put on a list?" Aha! Uh -huh. I thought of random two letters that are a crime, and now can we I'm just can we just say boiled? <laughs> or should we say toddler? I, I can I just care. call him Todd. Can we call him Todd? Todd. I'm done to call him Todd. Todd. <laughs> <laughs> or BT. So. Nah, uh, Todd is fine. Todd. <laughs> yeah. I'm overthinking this. We found Todd. Yeah. So. <laughs> We got Pichu versus I don't know, but our, I, I feel like we're gonna see a random weird character. Yeah. I feel like we're gonna see a Samus. So Archangel, a lot of people don't know, he is a local host regular, and he I don't know if Bonk was doing secondaries or not, but he beat Bonk, took a set of Bonk at the last local Bonk. host. Bonk. So like, he obviously has the capability of to course. to do well. Um. I but does he have the capability to put his controls in at this point? Oh, the Bonk was going like Meta Knight <laughs> the other day. Bonk was was in a full MK because yeah. I got Boiler Make. Huh, he went MK and then he went Shulk and won the bracket. Yeah, I was watching him versus <laughs> him versus Terra. Yeah, I was like, why isn't Terra edge guarding Shulk? Oh, uh, here we go. The, but the, anyway. the father, the father Koopaling talking Bro, about. Bro, he just Koopalings. wasn't edge guarding him. It was uh, annoying. It was there's like, no context. Like, I don't know what he's talking about. Like every about. single game in Grand Set, two, like Grand Set Two, was like last hit, and he got three o'd. Yeah, well, but anyway, he got better played by. Bonk but anyway, also. yeah, um, Bonk. Because I know the last time I saw Archangel play Bonk, Bonk went Terry and then MK. But if Archangel, Archangel just beat Bonk's MK, Bonk. like flat out. That's really solid. Bonk. Thank you. Bonk. So we'll have to see. I, I think I think Archangel just has. Okay, so Pikachu is just a very volatile character. And I think course. because of that, he's a very volatile player. Um, whereas if it's depending on the matchup or the player he's fighting, sometimes you can just win and sometimes you can just lose because it's a very hard to get consistent with this character nowadays. 